Tell me, Becca, ranking the five most disappointing this NBA teams this year. NBA season filled with who versus the Shadows? Who's surprises and disappointments? Before the year started, everybody put out their predictions and their projections for how they expected the season to go down, and while everybody has their own unique viewpoints on the matter, there are typically certain things that most people can agree on regarding what each team is expected to do, but now that we're approaching the end of the season, we can look back and see quite a few teams have struggled to live up to those expectations. This brings us to the topic of today's video, where we will actually be ranking the five most disappointing teams this year in terms of who has fallen shortest of what was expected of them, and in turn, have failed to live up to the hype. Before we start though, it turns out a good amount of you watching right now aren't even subscribed to the channel, so subscribe, please if you enjoy the content, consider hitting the subscribe button, as not only does it help out a ton, but I would also very much appreciate it. Now with that being said, let's begin. We'll start this ranking off with the fifth most disappointing team of the season and work our way up to the yeah, number one spot. So we're here disappointing, we have the yeah. Chicago Bulls. The Bulls have been as aggressive as any team over the last two years in terms of going out and acquiring talent with the intention yeah, of we've competing. Been, we've been pretty Nikola bad. Vucevic was an all-star player well, when he was know. brought in. Zach Levine was one of the best two-way guards in the league. And DeMar DeRozan's addition helped them finally end their playoff drought last year. After breaking that drought, they were fully planning on building off of that momentum, but for a variety of reasons, they have not been able to do so, and in actuality, have regressed. Not all of it is their fault, though, as Lonzo Ball is not going to be able to play at all due to a nagging injury that just won't go away, but the franchise still expected much more from this core than they have put together. Yeah, they we... sacrificed several first-round picks and young players in the process, gave both Zach Levine and DeMar DeRozan hefty contract extensions, and at the very least were expecting to be back in the playoffs. The Bulls, instead, are currently in 11th place in the Eastern Conference Crazy. standings. They're one of the worst-ranked offensive teams in the league, and are probably on the verge of blowing things up again this offseason. Up yeah, next, we suck. The I'm not gonna lie, we suck. Lonzo been the out, Miami so Heat. we need him, man. Come on, Lonzo, figure it out. Year, and we're a shot away Let's from making it to the down. NBA Finals. So that, combined with the fact that they brought back pretty much the same team that they had last year, minus PJ Tucker, would lead you to believe that they would still be one of the top teams in the Eastern Conference, especially because they were also the one seed last year. But their season this year has been as mediocre as it gets. They're currently in 7th place in the East, 3 games back of 6th place Nets, so unless Brooklyn starts dropping games quickly and the Heat go on a hot streak, then they'll have to deal with the play-in <coughs> tournament to even solidify their spot in the postseason. Jimmy Butler has shown that he can turn things up in the playoffs, but in the regular season he's been seemingly coasting. Tyler Hero doesn't seem to be much more than a decently efficient volume scorer, and while Bam Adebayo has been having an outstanding year on both ends of the floor, the team's overall depth in the front court is pretty lacking. Kyle yeah. Lowry's on his last leg. Yeah, the Heat. Kevin Love is in the same boat. Is Kyle Lowry even still playing? And with an offense ranked in the bottom five of the NBA, there isn't much to be excited about. Yeah, what the this fuck Kevin the Love doing at Cleveland? Next I mean, I said, the what the fuck is doing at Cleveland? But say, what he's doing? But where's Kevin Love doing in Miami right now? Most he's just there the for the vibe. He's there for the scenery. <laughs> Speaking of teams that got aggressive before the year with the intention of making a deep run, the Timberwolves mortgaged a lot of their future to bring in Rudy Gobert. Yeah. The price tag included four first-round picks, Crazy. Walker Kessler, Jared Vanderbilt, and Malik Beasley, I still, which told to the league day, that they man, were going trade all in on this season is just by bringing like, in a multiple-time defensive what player the fuck of the was it about? to hopefully <laughs> shore up their weak defense, which in theory isn't the worst logic to apply, but there were so many other factors that made this addition a questionable one. With Carl Anthony Towns' offensive versatility, yeah, as a great I don't know why they the picked up Rudy Gobert. Like, what made them inside, think like they we need him? Like, y'all had Cat to the power like, forward spot and work well off like, of Gobert. It just didn't make no but sense. Defensively, like, Towns has historically. When I seen that trade. I was so like, why? Him now to defend forwards like, instead why? of centers was always going to have growing pains. Early on this season, there were a ton of growing pains between that duo and their overall starting lineup, and then Towns suffered an injury, which has 
has caused him to miss about half the year. So not all of it is their fault as misfortune has struck, but even still, the experiment has put them in a very tough spot. They were the 7th seed in the playoffs last year, and are once again in 7th place in the West now, which means they didn't really go anywhere despite intending to compete even further, and that becomes a lot worse when you consider what they sacrificed to get here. Next I don't, up, I don't the get... second most disappointing team in the yeah, league this year the has been the Los Angeles Lakers. They're just going to keep Lakers being garbage. The I know they've been hooping, but NBA team in the league, so nothing I'm about it's to still garbage, bro. It's like, y'all are supposed to be a top three team in the, the, in the West or the, throughout the whole year. Like, I don't even care if y'all with the somehow get the 60, bro. Y'all are supposed to be a top three team throughout the whole year, and you failed. And I understand AD was hurt a bunch of times. LeBron was hurt a couple of times, banged up. But like, bro, struggling to even make the playoffs is a huge disappointment. Russell Westbrook did his best to embrace a new role as the team's sixth man. He sacrificed what he needed to sacrifice for the team, and yet the situation still ended on ugly terms as they traded him away in a deal that brought D'Angelo Russell back to the team that drafted him. Mm. It is also worth noting that both Anthony Davis and LeBron James have struggled at different points. With no, I heard injuries, LeBron and AD been beefing on the low. Hurt themselves even further. They've had a lot of inconsistencies all season long and will now have to try to finish a their bit. playoff push off without LeBron even being healthy because he's going to miss the next few weeks. But regardless of the roster's makeup, a team with LeBron James and Anthony they low Davis key on it being trying to get LeBron fresh legs. You probably y'all know I seen KD um twist his ankle and I'm the like number one most like I don't know like the whole thing with. Ankle twisting, like I know this is a random thing, but it's like this year has to be the defense. Have you ever rolled your ankle playing ball Warriors. and you can still play now, like after a little shake off? Like what's, what's up with NBA players not able to you know like the difference between fifth place and thirteenth place is just three games. They haven't exactly separated themselves from the stinkers of the conference. And trust me, I get it. They do have some excuses built in to rationalize some of their struggles. The year started with Draymond getting a little physical with an altercation between him and Jordan Poole, which may have thrown off some chemistry. They were forced to rely on yeah. youth in their rotation early in the year that wasn't necessarily ready to produce at this level consistently. Curry has missed some time with an injury, and yeah. they've already proven that their dynasty isn't over by winning it all last year so they could afford to coast a little bit. But even with all of that being said, they have still looked way too mediocre for a team expected to come I mean, maybe they're just season. trying to hoop in the they playoffs. Won the championship last maybe they're trying to turn up in the playoffs. Their entire starting lineup, plus a few key reserves, and, a lot of shots and yet crazy. they're still in the mix with about eight other teams fighting for a playoff spot. For even more perspective, the Warriors have the same record on the road as the Detroit Pistons, who are in last place in the Eastern Conference. So even though it's hard Beautiful. to doubt their ability to flip the switch when they need to, the fact that they won't have home court advantage in any playoff series could hurt them a ton. And with that being said, I mean, that's all I have for you today. Make DNA, sure to bro, like the video, it subscribe up in the playoffs, to the channel, so. and comment down below which teams I'm you not, have like, been the most just won, so it's like. Year. Thanks for watching and don't Yeah, they team is disappointing, but it's like the thing with the Warriors, like, bro, they probably just waiting for the playoffs to like, really go, you know, bananas, but hey, that's going to do over the video.